Good morning guys! So today we are off to Icon Clinic. Uh, magpapaderma kami ni Jeff. Ayan. And then after that, we are gonna have our food tasting today. So super exciting. Actually, initial food tasting pa lang yun. We are still going to have our final food tasting. So, di ko pa alam kung ano mangyayari talaga today dun sa food tasting namin with Juan Carlos. So, we'll see! We're so excited! So anyway, Today's outfit, I am wearing this blazer from Love Bonito. And then itong crop top na to, this is also from Love Bonito. And then my pants, parang Zara overrun siya. I forgot the shop who sent this to me. Pero try ko yung best ko, hanapin ko sino yung nagbigay nito. And I will link it down below. So anyway, update ko it kayo later. So tara guys. Ano na si, ano na din si Rhea? Icon da. <laughs> mula-mula pa yung mukha ko and yung ilong ni Jeff. Kasi na napanood nyo sa mga clips kanina na nagpa-facial ako para yung pimples ko um, ma malinis nila and ma-clear yung ibang areas ng face ko. Nagpa-underarm whitening din ako kasi yun nga, parang nakakonscious ako sa underarms ko. Feeling ko ang itim-itim ng underarms ko. Pero sabi naman nila dok kanina. Hindi naman daw ganun kaiting nung underarms ko. So, kailangan na ng konting whitening. Yun yung gagawin ko monthly with Icon Clinic. So, si Jeff nagpa fractional laser siya since nagpa rhinoplasty siya and alarplasty. Uh, may mga scars pa. So, in order for that to lighten or mawala yung scars, kailangan niyang magpa fractional laser talaga. And masakit, no? Rate yung pain from 10 being the pain most painful and then one na least. Siguro mga no between 7 to 8. Ganun. So, masakit. Mm -hmm. hmm. Naiyak siya, eh. Mm -hmm. Yun. Actually, masakit din yung pag-prick ng akin ng mga blackheads ko ba or pagtanggal ng blackheads and then yung pag-prick ng pimple ko dito. Masakit siya. Kasi parang ngayon ko lang ata yung pinagawa talaga sa face ko. Pero kailangan din talagang i-maintain kasi nga na-accumulate talaga yung dirt sa face natin and hindi siya basta-basta nagtatanggal lang sa facial wash or ganun. So, yun. Kailangan ko rin ng help nila talaga. Kaya, ayan, I wanna be a glowing bride. <laughs> Kaya, thank you so much to Icon Clinic for helping me with my skin concerns. So, there guys. So, anyway, update ko ulit kayo pag dumating na kami kay Juan Carlos. At ako ay kakain muna ng Jollibee. <laughs> Gutom na ako, pero mag-food tasting pa kami. So, doble kain ako today. <laughs> so, ayan guys. See you later. Hey guys, so we are back with another day. And as you can see, iba na yung hair color ko from the previous clips. Kasi yung hair ko the other days, it was lighter. And I just decided to have my hair color dark this time. Kasi parang ang hirap i-maintain yung light hair talaga. And sobrang 
unhealthy ng hair ko. Like, sobrang dry niyang tingnan and all. And now, it's better. Ayan. So, pinatreatment ko na rin siya. So, it's softer and it looks better. So, anyway, currently fixing myself up kasi today, mag-fitting si Jeff for his suit for the first time. So, I'm gonna go with him. Mula lang, makikiepal ako sa kanya. What else? Oh, we have another schedule with Icon Clinic. So, it's been weeks actually, guys, since my previous clips from this vlog. Ang dami nangyari. So, ayun. Kaya, napaskip tayo ng ilang days. Kaya, days in my life tong vlog natin. So, anyway. Ayan, nag-foundation na ako. And I tried using the Charlotte Tilbury na Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've been seeing a lot of um, vloggers out there who've tried this or have been raving about this um, product. So, ayun, na-curious ako. I decided to give it a try. And then, ito rin, bumili rin ako nitong, anong ba tawag dito? Magic Powder na from Charlotte Tilbury as well. So, yung thoughts ko about this foundation, this one, I got the shade in medium. My thoughts about this is medyo, ewan ko, like, sa start, when you apply it, sobrang dewy talaga tingnan. And I feel like sobrang oily ng face ko. Although, hindi siya heavy sa skin. Hindi ko na feel na may in-apply akong foundation. But, looking at it sa mirror right now, parang medyo hindi ako that happy about the result. Or, I feel like parang sobrang oily lang talaga ng itsura niya sa akin. So, I'm gonna layer it up with my favorite um one of my favorite foundations so ito this is the nars foundation this is the natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade fiji um i usually mix this one up with the uh, mac studio fix and so ito kasi binigay lang sa ng brand and it's a bit darker than my shade so para lang makuha yung actual na shade ko, I mix this too. Kasi this one, it's a bit lighter naman. So, perfect match siya. And whenever I use this two together, parang, ang ganda ng skin ko. Alam mo yung parang minake pa na ako ng um, pro makeup artist. Ganon. And it stays the whole day. So, before I applied my foundation pala, I've been using this Happy Skin na Fresh Morning Dew. UV Sun Mist. Meron na siyang SPF 40. And so far, okay talaga to. Um, ito na yung parang sunblock ko. So, ayan guys. I am done with my makeup. Although, hindi pa ako tapos sa hair ko. Pero, kips. Ganyan na lang siya. So, as promised, we are gonna unbox my wedding shoes. Actually, I have three shoes here with me na i-unbox ko with you guys. So, unahin ko muna tong brown box na to. This is a pair or a shoe from Steve Madden. So, nabili ko siya sa Revolve. The reason why I purchased this was because wala akong reception shoes for our wedding. And, ayaw kong gumamit ng mahal na shoes. And then, after parang masisira lang or super madudumihan siya. Kasi yung wedding namin is garden wedding. Wala lang, baka maputik and all. So, yun, basta dami kong kinoconsider. <laughs> so, I wanted something na not that expensive. Pero, maganda siyang tingnan. So, I went for this pair from Steve Madden. Ayan siya. Trinay ko na siya so far. Comfy siya and sobrang cute. Actually, sobrang na-attract ako dito sa palace up niya. And, uh, ayan, very sparkling pair na to. And yung heel height niya, um, I think this is around 4 inches or 4.5. And, hindi ako masyadong ma-heel. So, you guys know that, like, mahilig akong mag-sneakers. But, when I tried this one out, it's so comfy. Ta-da! Ayan. And also, I feel like I can still wear this not just a uh, wedding day. Yun yung first pair natin. And then, the second one, my first Amina Muwadi na sandals and I was so convinced and boodled by Vina. Her wedding shoes was Amina Muadi and I saw how comfy it was. Like, hindi siya nagreklamo or what that. Like, the whole day, 
that was the pair that she was wearing. And so, I decided to go for Amina Muwadi as well for my wedding shoes. So, ito yung pair na pinili ko. So, comes with this very pink na dust bag and then may nakasulat lang na Amina Muwadi. So, I'm so happy guys. Kasi sobrang happy ko. Kasi I've been eyeing on this pair din for months. Nakuha ko tong pair na to last January pa. I ordered this nung December. So, matagal na tong pair sa akin pero ngayon ko lang siya na-unbox for you guys. But this one, pinasource ko siya kay Shop Arm Candy. So, I'm gonna link her down below as well. Ta-da! So, ito yung pair guys. So, this is my wedding shoes. This design. So, ang reason why ito yung pinili ko is because of the heels. Ayan, hindi siya yung parang sobrang manipis. And this one, sure na sure ako na hindi ako lulubog sa ground, sa soil, sa grass. <laughs> Ayan, as you can see, yung finish na is satin. And sobrang comfy nito as in hindi, like feeling mo hindi ka naka-heels ganong effect. So, I would super recommend this. Uh, mas perfect siya though if indoor yung wedding nyo. Hindi ko siya ma-recommend if outdoor. And hindi siya white na white. May pagka-cream is siya ganun, like off-white. And I think mas classy tingnan yung off-white than it being like stark white. The next pair naman na binili ko from Amina Muwadi. Ito, sobrang convinced na convinced or sobrang bilib na bilib na ako sa brand na to. Kaya, napapabili talaga ako ng pair from Amina Muwadi. Kasi sobrang comfy niya. Like, no joke. Now, I understand yung height. Bakit majority of the girls out there have been purchasing or have been raving about Amina Muwadi. Kasi sobrang comfy nga niya. Coming from a sneaker lover like me, na who rarely wears high heels or sandals, guys. Sobrang comfy niya. So, this next pair naman, na source ko siya kay Ate Camille. So, Camille Collections. I'm gonna link her down below as well. So, ayan! So, same with the pair that I showed you earlier. Meron din siyang pink na dust bag with Amina Muwadi logo here. And, ayan. So, ito yung second Amina Muwadi pair ko. It's the clear Slippers. This one, this is very safe naman din to wear sa garden wedding. Kasi kung naputik or nadumihat, it's very easy to clean this pair. Since clear nga lang siya. And of course, yung heels niya ganito. It's not that pointy. So, hindi ka lulubog talaga with this pair. For the sizing pala, for this kind of design or style na open toe, um, I got this in my actual size na 35. And for my wedding shoes naman na yung clothes, I decided to parang size up ng half size. So that one is in 35.5. So there, those are the shoes that I've got recently. And I've been wanting to unbox these pairs to you, pero sobrang busy ko lang talaga. Like, we've been doing a lot of wedding preps na lately since it's, I think, three months? Yeah, three months na lang. It's gonna be our big day na. So... We are super, super excited and yeah, yun lang. So anyway, I'm just gonna prepare and update ko again kay later pagdating namin sa um, designer ni Jeff for his suit. So... With the double breasted, you know, man, yung may overlapping. This is an example of a double breasted suit. Mm -hmm. So, madras natin nakikita yan sa mga, ano, sa mga English mm -hmm. suits or American suits, lalo na pag mga yung climates. Of course, with the advantage of it na overlapping, it gives, it gives warmth. 